that he got himself out of sync. He got his team out of sync. Tonight, that has not been the case. Bell defending on Bryant. Series of fakes and a foul on Bell. In this next series by Kobe, you see him square up when he reverse pivots on Rajah Bell. He jabs and he keeps his actual, his ball low so then that he can actually get Raja hands down so he can't deflect the shot. So we have this ankle triple threat that he's doing as well. He taps his foot a couple times just to show a jab. And this is where the part where he gets really crafty. Instead of combining his dribble step and the ball at the same time, the ball comes down first because it creates a hesitation effect. So now the ball comes down first and now that foot rocks back because of the impact where it hits the floor. This right leg here comes back, he does his shimmy over to his right shoulder, and now he turns, but he doesn't square up fully to the basket with his shoulders and his feet and his hips to the basket. He actually turns, and then he has his hips squared away from the basket, because Kobe's really good at finding his hips and finding his elbow when he turns in the air. So, when you do this move here, make sure that when you come for that fadeaway, you're not perfectly squared up because that's unrealistic in a game. He creates separation by unsquaring here and then rotating and finding his elbow to the rim. Let's take a look. Now you can add Kobe's signature pump fake after you come from the shimmy, unsquare yourself, hips gotta be still dropped, show the ball here, that's gonna get your defender to jump. From this position, the hips gotta be strong, then you have to raise up, turn, and get your foot and your elbow to the rim. Let's take a look. So now, we can add the back pivot that Komi was most famous for as well. So, when I get into my dribble first, and then I get to my step, take that back foot, that right foot, shimmy towards that defender to the right side, unsquared, shot fake in the air, stay down with your hips. If you do not want to do a fade, you can stay down with your hips and you can take that back leg again, back pivot towards this cone here, stay low and you have to jump up with two feet and locate your elbow to the rim. Let's take a look. <laughs> 